Naga Munchetti, 47, was hosting a special edition of BBC Breakfast alongside Charlie State, 60, in the lead-up to the King's proclamation. It comes as Charles III has been proclaimed king in a historic ceremony, broadcast on television for the first time on August 10. Charles became king immediately following the death of his mother Queen Elizabeth II, but a historic meeting formally confirmed his role on Saturday. During BBC Breakfast, Naga had a slip of the tongue after she accidentally referred to the monarch as Prince Charles III. Talking to reporter John Maguire, who was outside Buckingham Palace, Naga said, John, we have just heard from so many different generations, young to older generations, and just what the Queen meant to them and what the incoming monarch, well the monarch now, Prince Charles III, what their hopes for him are. Her on-air mistake was swiftly picked up by viewers as some took issue with the blunder. Prince Charles III? Get a grip Naga at breakfast, fumed Twitter user, at Nat. At Humalva Hill tweeted, Naga Munchetti, it's King Charles III, not Prince. Prince Charles III? Surely Naga you mean King Charles III? At JJ Swales pointed out. While at TT added, please correct Naga. Others defended the broadcaster's mistake as at Scorpion tweeted, however, none of us have experience of this, historical and incredible event, we all appreciate, a degree of patience and understanding. At Floho added, Naga and Charlie are doing great. The comments come after some viewers also hit out at BBC Breakfast's coverage surrounding the Queen's death. BBC Breakfast also broadcast the new King's speech, where he addressed the nation for the first time. Dot Medvin's overplaying her hand after leaving Royals says US star latest GMB's Alex reacts as Meghan and Harry reunite with Kate and William Royals Jane McDonald's weight loss after husband left me admission, in his speech. King Charles discussed the new titles Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton will inherit. The Duke of Cambridge will now be known as the Prince of Wales, first and foremost, as well as the Duke of Cornwall and Cambridge and his wife, Catherine, will be known as the Princess of Wales. The royal also expressed his love for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, and wished them well as they continue to build their lives abroad. The king became the monarch after the death of his mother, but a meeting formally confirmed it on Saturday. He also approved the day of the queen's funeral, Monday, September 19, being a bank holiday. Speaking before the accession council, the king said his mother's death had been an irreparable loss. Meanwhile, senior MPs in the House of Commons, including Prime Minister Liz Truss, swore allegiance to the new monarch. Making his address in the state apartments of St. James Palace in London, King Charles said, It is the greatest consolation to me to know of the sympathy expressed by so many to my sister and brothers and that such overwhelming affection and support should be extended to our whole family in our loss. BBC Breakfast airs daily on BBC One at 6am.